We put a lot of stuff in the way of serving God. <laughs> we put sleep in the way. Mm -hmm. we, we, we put TV shows in the way. We just took, we're looking at, I need some me time. You ain't gave God no time. Also, I need some me time. <laughs> that, 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 comes, that comes from just an experience. Because when you start putting God in this stuff, that, getting up at 5 o'clock and reading your Bible extra doesn't cost you much because he carries you throughout the day. Right. Well, you, if you wake up and just start reading ESPN or whatever, you can get tired the rest of the day. But it's something about when you get that time to God, mm -hmm. you got a little extra spread. You, you, Bouncing around, you forgot you've been up since 4 30 this morning, but because God is in the midst of it, mm -hmm. He says, When we have this mindset that we can elevate God above those around us, and He says in the verse 21, who by Him do believe in God that raised Him up from the dead and give Him glory that your faith and hope might be in God. Uh, I, was write, I, was, I was writing a, a, a post, I didn't post again. And God was telling me, he says, sometimes we honor the blessing more than the blessed servant. Hmm. Sometimes we get so wrapped up into the blessing. Yeah. You see, folk out there in the car, shine them up on Sunday morning. You're going to church out there, morning, y'all, edging it up right, and making sure the house is all right. Hmm. Giving more praise to the blessing mm -hmm. than the blessed servant. People in church worried about how they look and all this, and we got all this, this. More concerned about the blessing than the blessed servant. Mm -hmm. He says, by this, who he gave all, that your hope and your faith not be in things, but be in God. And, and you know, just glance at that, we'll miss that point he made there about the hope and faith in God. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of people in church think that if they had more money, they'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Now, I say that. I'm not passing up any opportunity if God wants to bless me with more money. I'm not, that's not what Reverend Kennedy said. Don't y'all leave here and say, Reverend Kennedy said he will. Reverend Kennedy didn't say that. Because <laughs> if I go out there and say, well, I'm going to give you a minute. I'm going to take it. I'm not going to say, no, I got enough. So that's not what Reverend Kennedy said. He is saying, I rely on God yeah. to provide that which I need mm -hmm. and not go to God asking for the increase in blessing. No, I do say, God, you know, I, you, you know why I need my, my needs are, Lord, just cover my needs, bless my wife, bless my, bless the congregation. But when he says this, when we stop putting our hope into things, the people say, well, God, if you bless me with this, I'll do this more. Mm -hmm. God, if you just open the door now, my hope will increase. Mm -hmm. No, you, you want, you want, you want, I dream a genie. <laughs> you don't want God. You, you do. You, you want. You want I do for genie. Mm -hmm. I know y'all had that time. Well, if I had a genie, I could just. <laughs> it's been plenty of time growing up and thinking, man, he messed me up from him one because he always says, I don't want you to help me out. Mm -mm, help me out every time. <laughs> he keep on saying, stay in the apology. Stay. Mm -mm. His friend always said, no, won't you ask him to take a look at why? No, it's certain things because. Yeah. But but here he says that my hope is not in that. Yes. Is in who he is. Mm -hmm. and, and, and how we get fear from that is that I understand that God is in control and I'm in awe of what he's doing. Because if you ever get to look back and see where you are right now and you have to thank God for where you are now, mm -hmm. not get so caught into where you want to be, um, that, that you come from, I mean, 